how can you find something that you already are? Those are two different things. And so self-discovery isn't finding who you are. It's, experience, it's experiencing who you already are in a unique and different way and expressing yourself. And I feel like that's really, to me, that's the more exciting part. And it's like, it, we've talked about this before. It's not, you know, if we want to be patient, it's not like there's just fairy dust of patience like spread on us. And we're like, oh yeah, I'm now patient. It's like, no, if I want to be patient, patient, then opportunities are going to come forward. And then I have the active choice to be patient in those situations. And then over time, the more that I choose them, then patience becomes, you know, not just second nature, but first nature. And so if we take that same concept to uh, understanding our own self-truth, then every opportunity that is brought forward in our, our waking life is one to help reinforce who we already are. And so it's not just a magic dust that we're attempting to find and grab outside of ourselves and pull it in and say, this is who I am. It's just, un it's, it's remembering who we already are in this experience of being human and breathing that into everything that we are experiencing and saying, yes, this is, this is who I continue to choose to be. And it's a, uh, it's a beautiful experience to uncover who you already are. It's uh, it's like taking a blindfold off and just being like, wow, you know, I can now really see. Hey, Heart Leader family, it's Austin. I'm so excited to share that the early registration for the Silence Your Inner Critic Immersive Retreat is now open. It's October 10th through the 14th of 2024. Click the link below, check it out, and can't wait to see you there. The only way I could see personal discovery being like uh, something other is if you look at it as though you're an archaeologist internally and you're going on an internal dig, right? And uncovering things that have always been there, you just covered it up with so much crap. <laughs> yeah, right? <I> like that. <laughs> and so now you have to go in there with your little tools and just uncover all that you've covered it up with. Yeah. But you're right, it's always been there. It's not as though you suddenly are like, I don't know, I just grabbed it from out here and brought it in. That's not personal discovery, that's personal growth. You're adding to yourself. Mm -hmm. But discovery means that there's already, it's been in there. Mm -hmm. You're just rediscovering the fact that it's in there and you're awakening it again. Yeah. So be the archaeologist, right? This is your Indiana Jones moment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I love it. But personal truth is personal. Yeah. And this is another one of my big things in my own life. The fact that it's personal means to me that I have to be highly mindful of not then taking it and attempting to make many versions of my personal truth in everyone else around me. That is the quickest way of alienating the people that I care about the most. And it is a trait that I see very common we, especially in the key areas of religion and politics, and not that we intend to, I, I don't see intent, it is habit. Mm -hmm. And when mindfulness isn't applied to habit, like we like being around people who are like us. It is an expression of care and love, right? Mm -hmm. This means a lot to me. I love you because it means a lot to me and I love you. I feel it's important that I share this with you and you get the same out of it that I do. So I do feel strongly that when this happens, people do have, not everyone, but most people have a pure intention of, I'm getting so much out of this, I desire to share it with you. Mm -hmm. But your experience of it may not be my experience of it. And so if I suddenly go, okay, this personal truth is so amazing to me. Let me make you a mini version of me. Mm -hmm. Then what I'm doing is stifling your personal truth in honor of my personal truth. 
instead of saying, Austin, what is your personal truth in this area? Express that to me. And if you don't know, then maybe go on an archaeological dig in this area Mm. and uncover it for yourself. And then once you know, share it with me and let's find out where they intersect. (laughs) 